Greetings, hello, and welcome to Cooking Simulator. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make five star perfect baked cod. We are going to need salt, black pepper, sweet bell pepper, cumin powder, lemon juice, olive oil, and clarified butter. You'll also need one lemon and some parsley to garnish. And of course, the star of the show, the cod. A mixing bowl is good for the liquids. We'll also need a pan and a baking tray. First up, we need three grams of salt, three grams of black pepper, five grams of the sweet bell pepper, and five grams of the cumin. Once that's done, we're going to put it in the pan. I usually like to put things face down so it's easier to flip partway through cooking. Now, this is going to need to cook for 35 seconds on each side. This is a bit tricky because it doesn't actually complete the whole progress bar, so you need to do it right in the middle. I'll give you some tips on how to do that very shortly. But while that's cooking, I'm going to prep a small bowl and organize the drizzling ingredients. 5 mils of lemon juice, 5 mils of olive oil, and 5 mils of clarified butter. This makes it so much easier when it comes to drizzling the ingredients. If you mess it up, you can just refill the bowl. But if you mess it up on the fish, you have to refry a new one if you're going for that perfect score. Now, this bit is kind of important. Cooking it for the right amount of time in the fry pan. Now, I did a lot of trial and error, and it looks like the best spot to go for it's to stop the green progress bar right on the end of the stick of the D. <laughs> I know that sounds complicated, but wow, it makes a huge difference if you do it a little too early, heating mistakes. If you do it too late, heating mistakes. So right on the tip. And that's perfect. Now we need to add that liquid mixture that we prepared earlier. We can't pour the usual way onto the cod without picking it up. So with it on the table, hold shift and rotate with your right mouse click with that red dot on the fish. And it should pour most of the liquid on there. You can double check by scrolling and if you are one mil under for any of your ingredients, you can just top it up. Like that. There we go. Pop it onto the baking tray and whack it in the oven. And set your timer for about 30 seconds. Now, this is supposed to cook for 45 seconds, but um, I like to keep an eye on it because sometimes you need to take it out a bit earlier, but it's plenty of time to quarter a lemon. Grab a plate three sprigs of parsley, plate up that lemon, bit of a shimmy for presentation, and uh, see we're ahead of the clock a bit there, but if we'd gone for 40 seconds it would have been right on time, so I think it depends how long you fry it for, but this seems to be the sweet spot. Once that outline's red, we are ready to pick it up. And serve it in. Et voila! Baked cod. Five stars. And perfect. No heating mistakes. So cooking all the way up until the end of the D on cod. <laughs> it still sounds so dodgy. That's going to help you get 100% perfect score. Super minor detail, but for people who are frustrated that you just can't figure out how to get it right, that's the sweet spot. Anyway, let's have some fun now with the leaderboard challenge.
Hey, number five. <laughs> awesome.